Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and I have been working hard these past couple weeks and finally have my Etsy shop up. I wanted to show you the books and go through a flip through of all the junk journals, scrapbook, mini album things that I've been making. And I will leave a link down below for my Etsy shop and go ahead and head on over there and check it out. All right, so I have a total of 14 junk journals that I will be that will be up in my Etsy shop and I'm going to go through about six of them right now and then there will be another you know other videos of the other ones because I didn't want to overload you all on one video so I'll go ahead and go through here this is my Falalala Llama junk journal it has some really nice plaid fabric on it and I made a tassel and also there is a charm here it has a bell and a stocking and a Christmas tree on it and this was the Falalala Llama paper from Michaels there's some trim here. I'm at this picture and there's some little um, enamel dots there. It's tied up with some really pretty green ribbon. It has a, a glassing bag here and I'll just quickly go through this. And I also have a lot of things that I'm going to be adding to it. It will come with a little goodie bag of things. There's lots of flip outs. I'm going to add, I'm going to do some inking on it as well. There will be inking, there's lots of stitching, just all kinds of fun things here. I have um, vintage music paper, time card, little tuck spots everywhere. Super cute pockets. Here was my little seam binding little tag. I will put the link for that video down below. I did a tutorial for that. There's a flip out. I have vintage cards and I have more that I need to add in here too. Here's a little tuck spot. This is another vintage card doilies and napkin it's a flip out it's a little um, envelope see-through pocket there that's super cute this is a part of a, a vintage carol book there more vintage vintage little tuck spot Doily. Just a lot of fun things in here. I like use lots of lace. <clears throat> a bag. Here's a little flip up. Found this really cute uh, paper at the Target dollar spot that had the llama on it, so I stuck that in here. I made a music paper envelope for tags and things. More tuck spots. I dyed some paper and it has like a little misty um, glitter mist on it. I don't know if you can tell. But this was with uh, food coloring. So super adorable paper and all kinds of vintage items, dyed papers. And vintage laces. Here's a vintage uh, napkin that was embroidered, well it's applique. Yeah, so that's that. Super cute. This one is, I'm not sure what to call this one. 
I don't know. It's my burgundy and uh, forest green. And I love this. It was a fabric that I found at Joann's of the a Christmas truck. It has a tassel here on the side with all the colors that match. And another charm. And it has a stocking and a Christmas tree and a bell on it. And then it ties up here. This is another paper pad from Michaels. There's a pocket. And I still have, I still need to fill this up with all the goodies, tags and everything. But I just wanted to show you, this has little pockets there. I did all kinds of stitching, lots of fun laces, vintage music paper, dyed doilies. Here's some waterfall flip up, tuck spot. I love this paper. These colors are my favorite. I love the darker colors. Oops, got a little scrunched. So yeah, and then I have all of the tags and everything that will go in here, just like my other one. Here's a little sewed on flip up. Open up spot here. I used, this was ribbon and I it was like a three inch ribbon and I cut it in half and then I just did like a little fold and sewed it. So that adds a nice little touch, a glassine bag. Another tuck spot with sewn lace. Another one of the little cute trucks, super cute. Here's an envelope that I made. It will have some, some goodies in it. Here's a little flip out card that I made a little tie here. Oops. And it just opens up like that and there's a pocket in there. More pockets, another flip out, an envelope that has a little tuck spot, just all kinds of fun things. Here's another fabric flip up, hidden spot, dyed envelopes, and graph paper with pockets, another flip out here super cute and there's the back page so that's that one and then here is my Santa album this is a Santa the a cover from the a vintage little golden book it's a nightmare before Christmas or night the night before Christmas sorry about that it has a charm as well and a little, um, well, a tassel and a charm with a stocking and a tree and a red bell. <clears throat> Has, this is a hot buy as well. I can't remember the name of it, but it just has super pretty paper. This wasn't from it. This was from a Christmas bag that I found. It's really cute. It has a bunch of vintage Santa images. So there's lots of vintage Santa in here. Tuck spots. Vintage. Um, this is a pocket that I made with a, a vintage Christmas note music book. And this is a vintage sleigh card another flip out there super cute this one I love that isn't that super adorable it's a page from the Santa book 
and the vintage music paper with some flip outs. And then, as I said before, I have all the tags and everything that still needs to be filled up in here. So it has a side pocket and this up above, and then it also flips up. So that's super interactive. Little tuck spots there, side pocket here, another vintage image. I have a Santa stamp, so I stamped Santa there. Everything is inked here. I'm going to add a ribbon there. I didn't notice that before. That's from the from the bag that I cut up, a gift bag. Side little tuck spot. Is that It's a fun tag that I found at the dollar spot. And here's a, a full pocket made with two pages. And here's a pocket here as well. I love this album. This is so cute. I had fun with this with all the vintage images. Whoops, this got stuck. Oh well, I'm gonna finish that up, fix that. <clears throat> Don't worry about that; it'll be fixed. Little pocket. Santa up there. It's a notepad here. That's super cute. Here's a vintage image of a, it's on a playing card. Little coin envelopes. Sorry, it's going quick. I've got a lot of books here to show. But I wanted you to be able to see them, so if you decide to go on over to my Etsy shop, then you'll know what you'll be getting. These each have three signatures, and each signature has um, 10 flips or pages. So that's like 60 pages total if you count both sides. Here's a little library card. We'll flip out page, and that's the last. There's that one, and then I have two similar made with the same fabric here. This one's a little, this one was an actual gutted book um, and I left the spine because it was a good width. And this one is the same, but I added, I added a two inch spine to it. So I had to cut, cut this out to make it fit and it was skinnier. So these are similar. So I'll just go through one of them. It has a charm and a tassel, and then it has a super cute um, snow snowman image. It's a snowed in and loving it, loving it, and it's just super pretty with all the glitter. I added gold corners, the glassine bag in the center, and this is another paper pad from Michaels. Got lots of snowman vintage cards in here. Side pockets. This was fun. I loved just pulling all these things together. This is wrapping paper. Oops, some hot glue there randomly. This was the um, the hot buy that had the ugly sweaters. I thought that was super cute. Little coin envelope pockets there. 
Well, they're just just pockets. Popcorn bag. More fun laces. This paper is super pretty. I love that. This is a fun envelope there. I made a pocket with some snow fabric. A little flip out there. A little flip there. A napkin. Another side tuck spot there. The other one is similar. It has the same papers and everything. It's just, it's not the exact same layout. I changed it up a little bit. Oops. There. Another cute little vintage card. All right, almost done here. Okay, so that's my first five books. I will stay tuned for another video coming to show you the rest of my books. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe. Go check out my Etsy shop. And I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Craft Bye. God bless.